against the Merkid chair. And today I'm going to show you how to block certain IPs or certain countries from accessing your web page. Um, if you really want to do that, it's fairly simple, um, but it's also very useful at the same time. Um, just in case you do it, want to block certain people or countries. So let's get straight in with it. What we're going to do is we're going to be using PHP, obviously. So I've created a new file, and we'll just go ahead and put the um, PHP tags in. And go down a couple of lines, and what I'm going to do is just quickly go ahead and save it. Um, I guess we'll save it as page.php, uh, just like that. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is grab the IP of the incoming user because this is what we're going to use to determine if if you want to block the, that IP or if you want to. Well, what we're going to do is find some information about the IP to get the country and block them that way. So what it is, it says underscore in capitals server and then in the square brackets we're going to use in capitals again remote underscore ADDR which is address and that will get the IP of the connecting user. Also you can get other things like the user agent and um, operating system and stuff like that so let's say you didn't want certain people coming to your site let's say through Tor which actually does come up as unknown um, or you could use Opera, Chrome. Let's say you wanted only certain users to be able to use it. Um, that's another idea you could keep in mind if you wanted to do that. And the next thing we're going to do is create an array called IPs and that's just going to be equal to an array and that's because we're going to fill that up with IPs from like a text box in our server which we want to blacklist or don't allow to join. Um, so that'll be our array. Now what we're going to do is grab like a um, like the f we're going to grab the file on our server and read each line of it and put each line into this array and that's how we're going to populate it so we're going to use a simple for each here and we'll say for each um, well first of all we need to actually specify the location of our file so we can call it page and that will be equal to file and we need to just give it the location and the file let's say we'll call it ips.txt we haven't actually created that yet but we'll create that in a second so now we can say for each page as line now what we're going to do is line is going to be each line in the file so we can use a function called array underscore push just like that and we want to push to the IPs array the, the current line uh, in this for each loop right there so that's like that so what that's going to do is go for each line of our file and then add each line to our array which now leads us to check in that array if the current IP is in there so uh, what we're going to do is say if in underscore array and we're just going to check if the IP is in the IPs one just like that now if they're in there we'll just echo saying you are blocked and then if they're not in there we'll just echo um, you are unblocked but if you're actually creating a website with this this is where your you, your full site would go maybe you can have like a um, uh, you can have like a variable and set it to true or false and then down here you'll say if something's false display the full code if not just display that they're blocked so that well, that's just a basic check right there so that should be fine how that is that should actually work so if we save this file come over to our file manager and um, what we should actually do is we should have a YouTube directory in here from before and we do so what we're going to do is go ahead and upload um, the page file that I just made so we'll go ahead and upload that and then the next thing we want to do is um, once this is done uh, we'll come to this while that's doing that now we're going to use this page here to get some information about IPs now this is my current IP which I'm going to copy obviously it's a VPN and stuff um, so we'll copy that I'm still waiting for this to do whatever usually this is instant so I'm assuming something uh, it's gone wrong I mean the file is like 
minimal size. So I'm not too sure what's happening. Anyway, here we are. That's decided he wanted to take that long. So we'll come back. And what we're going to do is create a new file. And we called it ips.txt. And in here I'm just going to paste the IP which I'm currently on. Uh, because it's a VPN it changes quite often so what I'm going to do is quickly refresh this and see if it changed. Oh it did actually change so uh, I'll copy that and put the new one in. And press save. So now what if I do, what if, what happens if I go back and open up our page. I should be blocked. And there you, go, you have it, see I, I am blocked so um it shouldn't be too long before my IP changes again uh, and when it does you can see that I'll be unblocked or I could just turn this off and use my real IP and refresh and you see I'm unblocked now if I turn it back on the IP might actually change again yes yeah, so I'm unblocked so what I need to do is um, I'd have to put like the new IP in usually IPs don't change this often it's just um, because uh, what you call it? I'm using this VPN, so I'd edit it, and let's say I stack this new one back in. Well, I could actually just put it in as a new line as well. So it seems like this VPN uses these at the start, 207.244, quite a lot. So you could have some code there just um, to check if the IP starts with that, and then just fully block all of them that start with that. That way, you get to take out like a full VPN, I guess. So we'll wait for that to refresh and you see I'm blocked again. So that's how to block an IP. Now what we're going to do with this IP is uh, this this website right here if you paste the IP onto the end of the link just like that uh, it does actually return um, some JSON uh, wherever it is some reason it's not displaying here but if you do it with um, here's the uh, JSON API there what you can do is use uh, file get content so we'll say we'll call it uh, get country just like that and that'll be equal to JSON underscore decode because it is encrypted with that and then file underscore get underscore contents and we're going to get the contents of uh, this URL except the IP now is going to be um, we'll just put it here, it'll be the IP just like that and then what we can do is the country will be equal to um, get country and country just like that so what that's going to do is because the, the JSON's decoded the country is what actually stores like the country of whatever this returns so that's going to return either like the country code of the IP uh, a bit confusing because I can't actually show you for some reason when you do it in the browser it doesn't work out how it happens when you do it like this um, so you just have to uh, believe me that it works like that so what you could do is uh, check now if, if if they are unblocked or if they are blocked whatever you can have another check just here you could say if uh, in underscore array again country uh, we could have it in the same array actually because we'll just to save us time and having two different files although it's probably better to do it like that we can just say um, echo your country is blocked else echo your country is unblocked just something simple like that now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, re-upload this file now what might have happened is my IP might have changed again which is kind of annoying that it does that fast um, but we'll upload our new page 
and we need to actually get I think we're just going to be from the US all the time so uh, what we'll do wait for that we'll refresh that your country is unblocked but I am blocked right so I believe we're from the US so what we're going to do is go back into our little IPs file and on a new line I'm just going to put US in capitals and press save and what I can do is I can refresh this and you can see my country is blocked um, to clear things up a little bit what I could do is um, just after here you can just print a uh, BR tag which will break make a line break just to make stuff a little bit clear but usually you wouldn't have it like this anyway this is just for me to show you examples of uh, it working so we'll quickly go ahead and re-upload the file we're from the US uh, so even if my IP changes uh, it shouldn't matter too much because um, they're always going to be from the US so that should be blocked anyway so we'll re-upload that quickly give it a check so yeah my IP did change because I'm unblocked now but my country is still blocked so um, what it does is it works from country code so obviously the United States is US England or Great Britain is GB and so on like that so you get the idea so let's say you want to block China I believe it's CH uh, that's what you'd put um, so that's pretty simple um, the code is a bit messy maybe you want a different see how we got the IPs file here maybe you want a country file um, but there's really no need if if you got a small site uh, if depending on what you want if you just want to take the IP side of this or the country side of it it's up to you um, but really it's not too difficult to do and I hope it could help you up a little bit so if it did please feel free to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time